Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a 5.8 GHz jammer. This is a 5.8 GHz jammer that I've built. And the casing here is 3D printed. It has air vents on top and at the bottom for cooling. And on the right hand side, you can see a fan which provides the cooling. This jammer uses 5 BCOs. What is a BCO? A BCO is a voltage control oscillator. An oscillator is a transmitter. But a BCO is a transmitter that uses the input voltage to control the frequency. An example of a BCO would be this chip over here, which is the V596ME03. The BCO can't work on its own. It needs to be coupled together with a synthesizer. This is a ADF4106 6GHz synthesizer, which would work well with the BCO here. Now why do we need 5 BCOs instead of 1 since we could alter the input voltage and have it sweep across the 5.8 GHz band? The reason is because each BCO covers a specific frequency range and to cover the entire 5.8 GHz band you will need different chips. You could find out the frequency range that each chip covers by looking up their data sheets online. To protect the FPV community, I will not show you how to make one of these jammers, but I'm going to demonstrate to show you how it works. To test the 5.8 GHz jammer, I have the jammer sitting over there, and then I have the video transmitter over there. It's powered up with the camera hooked up and battery connected. As you can see, I have the linear antenna instead of the clover leaf. Since the jammer is having linear antennas on them, and I do not have five clovers to use on the jammer right now. As I'm taking this video, the video transmitter is transmitting live footage. Now let me get back to the placebo. Over here. And we can see the live transmission. From the receiver, the aircraft, I mean the video transmitter is actually further away, slightly further away from the receiver than the jammer over there. Now let me try to turn on the jammer to see what happens. Okay. And the video is gone. Jam, even though I have the antenna 